Chill here. Today I want to talk to you about an important topic, the dangers of one person's unlimited power in government, especially the United States. Think of the U.S. as a balancing scale. On one side, it's us. We the people have the power to choose our leaders, but even that is slowly being taken from us due to gerrymandering. On the other side, we have our leaders who are supposed to make decisions for us, the people. In a healthy democracy, these sides are balanced, or even tilted towards the people. But what happens if we give one person too much power? Or even if we give the wrong person too much power? The scale tips, and we the people fall off. When one person has unlimited power, they can make decisions without fear of accountability. If they begin to destroy the country, there will be no one there to stop them. Then the people will demand answers, and the leader will say it is because we have immigrants pouring into our country placing fear and uncertainty into the hearts and minds of the citizens, which will be turned into hate, resentment, and victimhood under the code word Christian nationalism. History has shown us the dangers of absolute power. For example, Julius Caesar's rise in Rome led to the end of the Roman Republic because he convinced the citizens that he alone could fix it. Adolf Hitler's dictatorship on day one in Germany resulted in World War II and the Holocaust. And even today, we have some people here in America who deny these crimes took place. These are extreme examples, but we seem to be living in extreme times. You may think, well, a strong leader can make good decisions quickly and effectively, and you'd probably be right. But you will have no input in any way in that decision. American democracy thrives on the idea of shared power and collective decision making by all who will be affected. This helps protect the rights and voices of all the citizens not just the side who has bought the most Supreme Court votes. Even today, we see countries where leaders have too much power, leading to censorship, limited freedoms, and unfair treatment of citizens. Google China, Russia, North Korea, or Hungary, and see if their citizens are happy and enjoy the freedoms many Americans take for granted. I say this because there are Americans who think that Russia and other countries work better. I guess we'll find out this November what the American people really want. Just remember, if you want a strong leader with unchecked power and accountability to no one, then that power, guaranteed, will be turned on you one day.